Zima for giving this giving us this opportunity. So uh, our project is TradeX. It is an asset management system that is built on the Zima network. So currently there are a lot of asset management system. Even if in crypto or if even if, if it is there in our regular stock market, there is a lot of uh, asset management system. So what we are trying to do is to integrate all these into a single platform, all these crypto, uh, what is called options trading platforms into a single platform, a single app that is capable, capable of doing all these things. So the problems that is currently faced by these options, strategies, automated markets are, the first one is high risk. The premium options are very high, with, you know, regulations. It is scattered actually and people doesn't trust any platforms. There are a lot of platforms and people don't doesn't know which one to choose for. So and there is also a lot of tabs like for Solana there is one, for Polkadot there is one and they are not connected in any way so it's very hard for a user to manage them. So we introduced these tradex. So we are um, introducing a lot of investment options which are risk, which are at various risk, risk levels. Also, we are trying to eliminate those risks up to a point. So, so we combine these strategies, all these strategies like uh, food strategy or sales strategy, we are combining them into investment worlds which can be used by the users to maximize their profit. So what we offer is sustainable yield, automated yield generation, strategy optimization, it's very simplified user experience and it is built on Dojima so there is cross-chain support so in a single dashboard you can manage all your assets and there is an improved user experience too. So the basis of Redux is ports. Ports is something like a liquidity pool where you can put all your funds into and from these, uh, these are, uh, we are using different strategies like covered code and put selling strategies to maximize the profit from the water. So the user only need to put their fund into the water. They don't want to uh, specify a strike price or anything related to that. The only thing they have to do is just put their funds into a vault, a vault and the vault will do all this automatically. And we have an algorithm, we are trying to develop an algorithm that can create a high EV um, strike rate generation, autonom autonomous strike generation and it will also do auto com component. So whenever you get a profit, it will be auto com on the next week, on weekly basis. So current status is we have done the UA, we have done some wallet integration, we have done the MetaMask integration and we are developing on that algorithm. And the future is we have to develop the initial goals and strategies, we have to launch it and main it, and we have to extend the strategy issue, we have to do it completely optimized, and we have to give it really decentralized. So I will give you a quick run through of the project. This is the uh, dashboard of Redex. Here you, you can choose the world and you can see your estimated APY. That's, uh, for example for this, Strategy is covered code and the uh, estimated APY is 20.09% and it has capacity, all, all the walls are, have a capacity and you can put your funds in the wall. And then you go into the deposit. Also, also you have to uh, log into your wall, wallet. So whenever you are uh, logging into your wallet, then you can see the award strategy, what it is, the risk that may happen. And you can see the balance capacity and the strike price. If you want to join this, you can deposit the amount. So we have in started working on the contract part. Uh, once you, you, you only have to deposit this, that's everything is complete, uh, handled automatically by our automated system. So, thank you. So, do you have one question for you though. Um, when you're talking about autonomous trading, uh, 
have you considered the volatility of the uh, the cryptocurrency itself to be transferred into a stable coin in case of any risk potential of the end user uh, mm-hmm. like how you have a stop loss in traditional markets yes but we are using this um, could they define it or would it be defined by your algorithm itself it is covered core strategy it okay. is covered core strat- strategy it's one of the strategy for uh, crypto this option trading the difference is that uh, then you won't ever lose your money your profit will only increase you will never lose your money understood yes okay and for stay only the holding premium, you will lose your premium amount ah, yeah that's fair that's fair but you will and, and uh, about the the uh, currencies that are in the gold itself yes. yeah in case somebody has got a, like example case in case somebody has got a bitcoin in there yeah and certain amount of a bitcoin and uh, the market right now as you know is pretty volatile it was 22 now it's gone to like yes. 26 it might go back you never know so do you have a volatility stop loss in place to transfer that amount from a bitcoin into a stable uh, cryptocurrency like uh, the the usdt for example yes yes And but can that be defined? Sorry, I'm just completing. Okay, no can that be defined by the end user, or is it defined by your algorithm? If so, how how does one go about it? Just curious because it's a very interesting concept you have there. Currently, we haven't done anything like that because the problem is that most of the people in cryptocurrency are actually like they are just holding their crypto on their, their crypto wallet. Okay. They are not uh, doing anything on that. If you hold uh, Bitcoin, you don't. You you may get some profit, like. If Bitcoin shoots to the moon, you will get some profit. But if you are keeping your asset idle, and if there is a strategy where, so we don't have any stop loss or anything like that. But if there is a strategy where you won't lose anything, but there is a chance you will get a profit in the near future, rather than waiting for it to go up. Okay, fair. So, so if there is no loss, so that is one of our selling point that you won't lose your money. If it goes down, or actually, if the Bitcoin goes down, you obviously, if you hold it, it will go down. In our options, also, it will go down. That is all. And we are keeping expiry of one week. So. But we are, we are, we will think about that. The stop loss. Anything else? Thank you.